bought these Albert Bartlett potatoes. I'm going to roast them and they are a bit red. So I'm going to wash these and then put them in half. The water pan is already ready and I'm going to pop it in there and parboil them and then roast them. So as mentioned, I only parboiled these half of them and drained the water and let them cool. I'm going to prepare a really delicious coating. So I'm going to mash up these garlic cloves, leave the skin off, add some oil, salt and black pepper, mix this thoroughly in a roasting pan and add the potatoes that you've just half boiled add a good chunk of butter and mix this in as much as you can and then pop this in the oven i'm also making here some carrots that i've just um, sort of swiveled around with some oil and uh, chili flakes in a pan i've taken some butter and oil and added a sliced mushrooms i have about two cups here they will decrease now on the other stove i have these steak fillets i've heated the pan up i'm going to rub some garlic on the pan as well as that i'm going to drizzle it with salt and a black pepper freshly black pepper that is and then on a medium heat i will slowly cook the meat before flipping it over onto the other side i'll make sure it's cooked we like our meat well done, so that's how we're going to aim. And you can keep rubbing the garlic as well to give it lots of flavour. I'm going to quickly check up on the roasting potatoes and give them a quick swirl, make sure they're not sticking to the pan. The aroma is just so, so beautiful and I can hear them being super crispy as well on the outside. Now back to the mushroom sauce that we're going to be making with these mushrooms that I've been sorting. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of a mustard sauce. I'm going to add a couple of uh, cloves of garlic crushed. Mix this in together and I'm going to add in about, I have about 250 millilitres of double cream, cooking cream and mix this again thoroughly. Make sure your pan is on a low heat. I'm going to add in freshly ground black pepper, some red chili flakes and some mixed herb. Also from the grill pan of the steaks, I'm going to add in the garlic clove. That should have um, you know, become really tasty and add this in to give some extra depth to this mushroom sauce. It turned out so beautiful. And these roasted potatoes are ready and I'm just dishing them out now. I'm also dishing out the carrots that have been roasting. The steaks have all been cooked and resting and I'm also going to quickly char grill the asparagus. Guys, the table is set for our eat dinner. We're eating outside because it is absolutely beautiful. We have here the mushroom cream sauce and salad. The steaks of course, beautiful steaks. I should actually give the credit to my husband as he started looking after it more than I did. And roasted potatoes and some carrots, absolutely delicious. And we have some char grilled asparagus and some coleslaw. Guys, that is all from us. Um, we're going to sit down and eat. We've got to eat, quickly clear up and get into bed because we've got a very early start. So, I'll be seeing you on the other side of this video. Have a lovely, lovely Eid. 
whether you're celebrating it yesterday, today, the whole weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Love this.